One by one, Ukraine has been taking down powerful Russian ships, from smaller Coast Guard vessels to the prized Russian flagship Moskva. This raises a big question. How does Ukraine continue to defeat such a formidable fleet without having one of its own? It all started with Ukraine's Neptune missile sinking the Moskva in April 2022, marking the country's first major success at sea. The message was clear. The Russian fleet was no longer safe. But after that strike, the Russians became more cautious and didn't dare come close enough to Ukraine's shores, aiming to avoid ever falling within range of anti-ship missiles. This left Ukraine with a tough challenge. How to fight the Russian fleet without having one of its own and without being able to hit them with missiles? And that is when these two unmanned warriors came into play, quickly becoming the ultimate threat to the Russian fleet. How? To find the answer, we need to take a closer look at how this beauty works. A recent Polish study reveals that Ukrainian Magura V-5 has been the most effective maritime drone in the Russia-Ukraine war. And here's why. It is the first naval drone in the world which has completely destroyed targets in combat conditions, a feat officially recognized by Ukrainian military intelligence. The study on security in the Black Sea region found that Ukrainian drones struck 22 Russian military ships, with eight of those ships being destroyed. Among the drones used, the Magura V-5 was responsible for hitting 14 ships and destroying eight. But let's dive into specifics. How does a single drone bring an entire fleet to its knees? The Magura V-5 is no ordinary weapon. It's a silent predator, slipping past defenses and striking with deadly precision. This became glaringly obvious on May 24, 2023, when it delivered a crippling blow to the reconnaissance ship Ivan Kurz. But the drone's assault didn't end there. It returned with a vengeance on July 24th and September 13th, targeting the patrol ship Sergei Kotov not once, but twice. Then on November 11th, the Magura 5 demonstrated its devastating prowess by sinking the landing boat D-144 CNA, which carried a BTR-82A armored vehicle, before sending the landing ship D-295 Akula to the depths on the same day. February 2024 saw even greater destruction, as the missile boat Ivanovets and the large landing ship Cesar Kunikov met their fates. The Sergei Kotov, initially damaged, was finally destroyed on March 5th, along with a Ka-29 helicopter. The carnage didn't stop there. The Magura V-5 obliterated two high-speed special purpose boats, R-75, and in a massive assault on May 30th, it damaged three K-701 Tets boats and completely destroyed one. Give us a thumbs up if you agree that the Magura 5 is a real badass. Is it just the technology that makes this drone so effective? Or is there something more at play? The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine has stated that any targets within a 497 mile radius are considered when deploying the Magura V5. Was utilization of Magura V5 enough to shake the Russian bulwarks? No, this drone needed support from another advanced weapon, Sea Baby, to be fully effective. The Sea Baby, a type of small but powerful sea drone has variants equipped with rocket launchers specifically designed to take on Russian ships. Despite its compact size, the Sea Baby drone packs a punch, making it a formidable tool in naval warfare. Equipped with rocket projectiles, it can engage targets at a range of up to 12.4 miles, adding a tactical edge to its operations. On the other hand, the Magura drones are outfitted with R-73 air-to-air missiles, offering a distinct capability to strike from a distance, making them a nightmare for enemy ships. They are efficient in all types of weather, and a striking feature that distinguishes them is their cruising level. They fly close to the water's surface, which makes it harder for enemy radars to detect them. Ukraine's Sea Baby drones have proven especially effective, hitting at least four Russian ships by laying over 15 underwater mines near the Crimean Peninsula. These mines, installed on routes exclusively used by Russian warships, have inflicted significant damage. Notably, on September 14th, 2023, a mine laid by a Sea Baby drone blew a hole in the stern of the Russian rocket corvette Samum, which is still under repair. Over the following weeks, Sea Baby drones continued their deadly work, firing on and damaging enemy vessels detected during their operations. The success of these drones marks a groundbreaking moment in remote naval warfare, as they managed to strike key targets like the large patrol boat Pavel Derzavin and a modern mine fighting ship, all while remaining undetected until the moment of impact. 
sea drones outperform traditional anti-ship missiles like the previously mentioned Neptune. Don't get us wrong, the US provided anti-ship missiles such as the Harpoon have significantly boosted Ukraine's firepower, but the longer range and much lower cost of naval drones makes them a powerful tool for challenging Russian forces in ways that conventional weapons cannot. Here are the facts. Naval drones like the Magura can strike targets up to 497 to 621 miles away, far surpassing the range of Neptune, 177 miles, and Harpoon, 174 miles. And the basic version of the Magura, as revealed during the first United 24 fundraising campaign in 2022, costs approximately $250,000 per unit. In contrast, a single Harpoon missile comes with a hefty price tag of two to three million dollars. According to public estimates from Ukraine's main intelligence directorate, about 30 to 40 percent of naval drones reach their target, with the remaining 60 to 70 percent intercepted by Russian defenses. Nonetheless, the combination of drones and aerial reconnaissance has led to spectacular success, including the sinking of Russian Navy's Vasily Beck tugboat in June 2022, a clear demonstration of how these tools, both conventional and unconventional, shape the battlefield. After the initial use of maritime drones, the Russians built larger barriers at the entrance to the port of temporarily occupied Sevastopol, which almost made drone strikes impossible. So, the team of officers came up with an alternative planting sea mines. They settled on planting bottom mines made of plastic, each weighing about 400 pounds, 180 kilograms. These mines are particularly challenging to detect as they settle into the silt of shallow waters, creating hidden hazards. Over a month and a half, the SSU team meticulously tracked the movements of both naval vessels and civilian transport. With this intelligence, they deployed a sea baby drone to plant two mines strategically. On the 14th of September, one of these mines struck the Russian guided missile corvette Samum, blowing a hole in its stern and forcing it into dry dock for extensive repairs. Brigadier General Ivan Hunter Lukashevich reported that in the following weeks, Sea Baby drones covered more than 3,000 miles, planting approximately 15 additional mines. During one mission, a drone encountered three Russian Raptor class patrol boats. In a dramatic turn, the drone fired a grenade launcher, successfully hitting one of the patrol boats. It didn't stop there. Just days later, on the 11th of October 2023, the Russian Black Sea Fleet's patrol vessel Pavel Derzavin breached its hull on a mine while entering Sevastopol Bay. Despite efforts to clear the area, it hit another mine two days later while exiting the bay, prompting a large tugboat sent to rescue it to also strike a mine. Further highlighting the success of this strategy, a modern Russian mine countermeasure ship, one of only two in service, was damaged by an explosion while attempting to clear these mines. The Wall Street Journal lauded this operation as the world's first successful example of remote mining, showcasing the remarkable ingenuity and technological prowess of Ukraine's defensive strategy. While the Russians have laid numerous sea mines in the Black Sea, so many that experts estimate it could take years to clear them, these obstacles have not hindered the effectiveness of Ukraine's naval drones. These small, agile devices have proven to be nearly invisible to Russian minefields, continuing to operate effectively despite the challenges posed by the heavily mined waters. The back and forth blame game between Russia and Ukraine, with accusations of mine deployment, is a common stratagem in high stakes conflicts. The complexity of demining the Black Sea, combined with the unpredictability of aging mines, underscores the challenges both sides face in this maritime battleground. Yet, despite these difficulties, Ukraine's innovative use of naval drones continues to play a crucial role in countering Russian naval forces. The successful integration of drones, advanced missiles, and strategic mine warfare demonstrates that even smaller nations can effectively counter larger adversaries with the right tactics and technology. What could be the next target for Ukraine's formidable sea drones? Among the potential high-value targets are Russia's powerful ships in the Black Sea. One of Russia's two largest amphibious assault ships from Project 11711 is currently in the area, though its exact identity remains shrouded in mystery due to Russian masking measures. This vessel, along with missile frigates like the Admiral Makarov and Admiral Essen, both equipped with caliber missiles, represents a tantalizing challenge for Ukraine's naval forces. Could these be the next to face the wrath of a Magura drone? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into modern warfare, check out our video on the impact of drones in modern conflicts.